Welcome to another video. Today we'll talk about the 13 humans with real life X Men mutant superpowers. Are you a fan of superheroes? These people will show what is like to be a real life superhero. So sit back and relax and grab something to eat and drink. Let's get started. If it's mutant superpowers fans want to see, there's no need to depend on some fictional, CGI enhanced Marvel movie. There are very real people with very real gene based super abilities all around us. First, let's begin with the fact that mutations do not mean retractable claws or the ability to control the weather. In fact, these little genetic typos typically result in very minor changes, which, when they aren't deadly, are often invisible. Mutations are the means by which nature adds new variants into the genetic pool. If these traits are advantageous, or at least benign, they are passed along through generations until they become a normal part of a species' grander gene pool. Without mutations, evolution would not be possible, species could never gain new abilities or attributes. For example, in our species' recent past, around 12,000 years ago, a single human had a mutation that gave him the superpower to drink cow's milk and not get sick, which was then passed to half the world's population. Now we have cheeseburgers. Scientists believe that every time the human genome duplicates itself there are around 100 new mutations. They're pretty common and usually negligible. However, it would stand to reason that within the pantheon of human mutations, some would express themselves in the form of extraordinary superhuman abilities. Read on for 13 examples of medically verified human abilities resulting from minute changes in genetic code. Or, to put it in a much more interesting way, here are 13 examples of real-life mutant superheroes. Super Endurance Finnish Olympic skiing champion Eero Mantiranta may have been the first Finnish sportsman to test positive for hormone doping, but he probably didn't need to since he had genetic super endurance powers. Along with other members of his extended family, Mantiranta had a condition resulting from a mutation in the erythropoietin receptor gene. This resulted in the ability to carry 50% more oxygen in his bloodstream, a trait that is quite advantageous in endurance competition. Super Strength when you think of genetic disorders, physical frailty might be something you can imagine. However, there are also genetic disorders that exist on the other side of the bell curve that results in superhuman strength. And that seems to be the case with Michigan boy Liam Hoekstra. Liam has a rare genetic condition in which his body blocks the protein myostatin, which inhibits muscle growth. Individuals or animals with this deficiency tend to have much larger muscles with little body fat, an inherent super strength. While Liam doesn't appear to boast any fantastical car tossing strength, he is naturally stronger than all his peers without doing any training. The only downside to his condition is that he must eat more than most in order to keep up with his body. Eating that which should not be eaten. Michel Lotito was a French entertainer known as Monsieur Monge 2 or Mr. Eats All. Throughout his career, Michel consumed all manner of non-consumable objects made of glass, rubber, and metal, which he would often accompany by downing mineral oil. One of his most impressive feats was consuming an entire Cessna 150 airplane, which he ate in small bits over the course of two years. There was a couple of things going on here, first, Mitchell appeared to suffer from a condition known as pica, a disorder characterized by the appetite for non-consumable foods like dirt, rocks, and metals. But what makes Mitchell truly notable is the abnormally thick lining in his stomach and intestines that made it possible for him to eat sharp metal objects and consume toxic substances, which would have killed a lesser person. Ability to eat many hot dogs. Competitive eater Takeru Kobayashi attributes some of his unique ability to the fact that his stomach sits far lower than that of the average human, thus giving it more room to expand upwards. When asked about his unnamed digestive condition during a 2012 armor, Kobayashi said that the stomach condition is true. I have been checked not on a serious level. I have had a camera put down in my stomach before. When they put it inside, just the camera touching the inside of my stomach stretched it and it surprised the doctors because of the elasticity. Hyperphotographic memory. You may have difficulty remembering the exact details of the late 1970s TV sitcom Taxi, but actress Mary Lou Henner sure doesn't. And not just because it was her most notable role, but rather because she has a condition known as hypothemesia, or the ability to recall every tiny, stupid detail from her life going back decades. Ever why detail? Marilou is only one of 25 confirmed cases of hypothemesia, which allows her to pinpoint the smallest details of her life on nearly any given day. She told ABC that rifling through her memory is similar to viewing little videos moving simultaneously. 
when somebody gives me a date or a year or something, I see all these little movie montages, basically on a time continuum, and I'm scrolling through them and flashing through them. While some scientists theorize hypothemesia is the result of an obsessive compulsive need to constantly review and therefore renew one's memories, there is also a physiological link in which the temporal lobe and caudate nucleus of the brain are found to be enlarged in the afflicted. Super flexibility. Even if you don't know the name Javier Botet, chances are you have seen his work if you're a horror movie fan. Javier was the emaciated creature at the end of the Spanish horror film, Wreck, the titular character in Mama, set in the 2017 remake of The Mummy, and Slender Man in the 2018 movie of the same name. As you see in the test footage above from Mama, while a lot can be done with makeup and CGI, it's no replacement for the spookiness that comes from someone with the ability to bend themselves in ungodly poses. Botet suffers from a genetic condition known as Marfan syndrome, which affects connective tissue throughout the body. People with Marfan tend to be unusually tall, with long limbs and fingers, and have abnormal flexibility. Marfan is a spectrum disease, meaning that severe cases can lead to life-threatening defects in the heart and other organs. However, those with mild symptoms can live normal, full, healthy lives. Unbelievably sexy Hollywood eyelashes. Elizabeth Taylor, actress, icon, mutant. Taylor suffered from a rare condition known as dystichia, in which the eyelashes arise from an abnormal spot on the eyelid. In Taylor's case, she actually boasted a double set of eyelashes, which only helped draw attention to her famous violet eyes. Dystichia can cause medical issues in some people, by which the eye is being constantly brushed against the lashes. However, in Taylor's case, it only led to fame and fortune. No need for sleep. You've always heard that you need 8 hours of sleep a night. And that's good advice, for most people. There are some people out there who require far less, and their reason is genetic. University of California, San Francisco researchers conducting genetic tests on sleep test participants located a mother and daughter who share an unusual trait. They both carry an abnormal copy of a gene known as DEC2, which affects the circadian rhythm. The result is they are short sleepers, who need far less sleep than the average person. This is a genetic disposition that may affect as much as 5% of the population. A six-finger sinker former MLB relief pitcher Antonio Alfonsica was known for his killer sinker. While this pitch was surely the result of years of practice and perfection, it's difficult to conclude that it wasn't also at least partially due to the sixth finger on his throwing hand. Alfonsica was born with a rare genetic condition known as polydactyly, which results in extra fingers or toes. In fact, El Pulpo, or the octopus, as his teammates called him, has an additional extremity on each hand and foot. While it's debatable if the extra finger actually helped his pitching, it's hard to imagine that it had no effect. Disease resistance The AIDS epidemic ravaged the gay, black, and Latinx community throughout the 1980s and early 90s. But one man managed to never get sick even as friends and lovers around him fell to the then mysterious ailment. Stephen Crone was found to have a Delta 32 mutation, which protected his CD4 white blood cells from HIV. Due to this small genetic change, which otherwise had no apparent effects, Crone was completely immune to HIV. Within any disease outbreak, a few individuals in a population are always found to be immune for one reason or another. These immunities can often help scientists describe the disease and devise treatments. Leave no fingerprints dubbed, immigration delay disease, a dermatoglyphia is a genetic condition that leaves the afflicted without fingerprints. The trait came to light when a Swiss woman was not able to enter the United States because of her condition, all non-residents are required by law to be fingerprinted. Aside from the frustrations that come with dealing with various local bureaucracies and newer fingerprint tech, this rare condition would certainly be considered a superpower to any would-be criminals. If you like this video be sure to hit the like button. See you on my next video.